What's up guys? Welcome back here, Gels, for another Java tutorial. So, yun, we're done with those uh, array lists. So, in this tutorial, guys, a new thing about Java, which is inheritance. So, the concept of inheritance. Ano nga ba ang inheritance? So, let's just freaking Google it. So, Java inheritance. So, um... Kung sa word, sa word pa lang mismo, alam niyo na kung anong inheritance. From the word inherit, na parang minamana. So, tulad nyo, um, kayo may minamana kayo sa parents nyo. To have a super class is to extend or inherit from a class. So, tama na yan. So, ganun. So, parang, for example, baga, um, kumbaga, we have a class and yung specific class na yun, uh, may mamanahin siya sa another class, kumbaga. So, um, pinagsasabi ko. So, let's just do it. Ganito, I'll make a simple um, demonstration. So, parang ganito. So, gawa tayo dito ng um, class. Let's name it food class. Lagi lang natin yun. And another class, two more classes. For example, um, anong, for example, um, hot dog. Ganyan. So, a hot dog can be anything. So, pwedeng um, tender juicy, um, sweet corn nut, to ganon-ganon. So, ano pa? Um, let's name it um, food. Chicken. Chicken class. So, chicken can be, for example, um, Jollibee Chicken Joy, Chicken McDo, ganon-ganon-ganon. So, example lang. So, we have food and hot dog chicken class. So, dito sa, uh, basically, hot dog and chicken, ano siya? It is basically a food, di ba? So, dito sa ano, di ba dito, for example, um, hindi na tayo gagawa ng attributes, ng getters and setters. Let's just make a method. So, public void, uh, for example, um, say um, food. Ganyan. A simple method. Nothing special. So, let's just system that out. That print lin food. Say food lang. Let's just print a simple, ano, ganyan, food. Then, some, um, same thing dito sa chicken. Then, ganyan. So, ang gagawin natin, di ba? Uh, ang gagawin natin is, maggagawa tayo ng instance ng object, ng chicken, I mean, yes, the chicken and the hot dog. The chicken and the hot dog, gagawa tayo ng instance of object. So, my dog is trying to get outside. Hey, come here. <laughs> oh my God. Kinabon ako doon. Because my dog, sensya na guys, my dog is kind of makulit. So, we're back again. So, eto, as I've said, um, the chicken, um, we're going to make an instance of a hot dog and a chicken. So, then, i-call natin yung function or the method, which is say food. So, in some cases, pwede nyo naman gawin to. We can inherit the this specific function, for example, to the food. Or, depende yan sa inyo. So, what do I mean by that? So, alisin na natin to. Or, let's just make a simple demonstration. For example, um, hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, one is equal to new, hot dog, ganyan, then hot dog, one dot, ganyan, ayan, ito yung say food, diba, ayan yung say food, so pag rinan natin yan, gagawin nyo lang yung function, ganun lang naman, so as I've said, we can inherit it, pwede nating manahin sa ibang ano, so let's just um, alis natin to, ayan, nakita nyo nag print, alis natin, same with the chicken, so dito natin yan ilalagay, so, basically, um, eto na. So, paano natin may inherit etong hotdog? Kumbaga, etong hotdog at saka chicken class, hotdog chicken class, imamamanayin niya or we will inherit da sa food or, for example, i-inherit niya etong method na to. So, all you have to do is, public class hotdog extends, use the keyword extends, then, yung class na gusto mong manahan or, ano, ganyan, then food. So, same with this, extends, ek, oops, ex, extends food. So, basically, the, the extends keyword meaning na this class is extended to this class here. So, kung sa madaling salita, kumbaga, chicken class uh, will inherit um, the food class. Ganon. So, mamanahin lang naman. Kumbaga, minamana. So, ganon. So, eto. ba nakita niyo Walang error. So, ulitin natin. Hot dog, hot dog 1 is equal to new hot dog. Nakalata niyo yun kung bakit walang error. Kasi, hot dog 1, that, kung makikita niyo, lumabas pa rin yung say food. Cause, kahit wala tayo ditong function, anything, wala tayo dyan na function, pero, the point is, we inherit 
we inherited, na inherit na, or minana natin yung sa food class, which is meron siyang function na say food. So, it means na we can access or pwede natin gamitin yung function na to. Kasi, um, kumaga, basically speaking, ito nga, extends food, kumaga, in-inherit natin or minana natin yung function na to. So, we can use it. Pwede natin gamitin. So, kumaga nga, minana. Ka, minana natin, then meron tayong ganun. Kumaga, kung sa parents nyo, parang, for example, you have, um, for example, your parents has blue eyes, then kayo meron kayong blue eyes, then syempre, meron na kayong Uh, meron ka na rin blue eyes. Kung baga, minana mo nga yung pagka blue eyes na parent mo. Parang ito lang, meron tong public void na function, mina, minana ni hotdog yung function na yun. Then, syempre, meron na rin, kahit hindi dito nakalagay, deep inside, meron na rin si hotdog ng function na to. Kasi nga, minana, inherit, inheritance. So, pag parent natin yan, uh, food, ba diba? Same lang naman. Kung ayaw nyo maniwala, lagyan natin ng S, dapat foods yan. Foods, di ba? So, pa paano kung naka-private to? Obviously, hindi naman. Obviously, kaya nga naka-private. So, it just means na, oh, bawal mo tong, ano, kaya nga private, bawal, parang nakatago, parang privado nga. So, hindi mo yan pwedeng inherit. So, it will cause an error, di ba? So, same concept lang naman sa, um, sa last tutorials about yung sa private, uh, ano, private. So, Um, one last thing, may nakalimutan pa ba ako? So, eto, um, dalawa, isa na lang. So, what if kung gusto nyo maglagay dito ng method? For example, gusto nyo maglagay dito ng method, uh, pero dito, ayaw, ayaw nyo dito maglagay. So, gusto nyo, pa nag-create kayo ng instance ng chicken, gusto nyo eto na lang, i-inherit nyo na lang eto. Pero dito sa hotdog, Iba yung method na ano niyo pero gusto niyo pa rin na extended siya sa food. So you can make a method here public public void for example say ano ba yung function dito say food. So titingnan niyo guys yung difference say food ganyan then system dot out dot print din. So tito say food from hot dog class itself. So meaning sa hot dog class mismo yung ano, yung ang tawag dyan, yung function. So, kung makikita mo dito, pareho yung, ano, yung tawag dyan, yung function name, ba diba? So, it causes a warning. So, yan. Kailangan daw dagdagan ng override. So, pag, pero pag rinan natin to, it actually works na say food from hot dog class itself. So, meaning, pag ganyan, kung may method na talaga dito, yan na talagang makakol kahit in-inherit mo to. So, ganun. So, pero, it is a good programming practice to put override here. Override. So, it's a good thing na, ang tawag dyan dito sa IDE. So, missing javadoc. So, wala yun na javadoc. Because, um, meaning lang naman ang javadoc sa mga mga functions mismo na built in in Java. So, eto kasi ginawa natin by ourselves. So, eto ng kaganda ng IDE is ginag, um, binibigyan na tayo ng message na, um, Ganyan, kailangan ng override. So, basically, ang uh, override means na... Oops, may puppy. Hey, hey, come here. <laughs> so, basically, hey, pop. So, wait, guys. So, yun, guys, as I've said, override. So, ang likot talaga ng asong to. So, the override basically means na, kumbaga, um, eto, we have a method here. So, kum kumbaga, pag, kung inalis natin to, kung inalis natin to, uh, alisin natin. So, basically, pag nag-kinol natin yung safe food, ang tinatawag lang naman talaga is eto. Kasi nga, in-inherit natin. Kung baga, meron na rin yung hotdog function. I mean, the hotdog class. So, foods. Pag linagay natin dito, yan. So, basically, the override meaning, i-override niya yung method na to. Kung baga, papalitan niya or something, i-over power niya. Kung baga, kaya nga, i-override or i-overpower na kumbaga i-override nga mag-guess nyo ba o guys parang oops ano yun so obviously namang ibig sabihin ng override kumbaga i-overpower nga na eto eto dapat so i-overpower or override itself so parang papalitan o or papatungan or kumbaga ulit ulit na ako parang yung overpower ganon so 
Ganun lang naman. Same goes with here. If you have the chicken and other classes, kung gusto nyo extend, extended siya sa ano, sa kung ganito, other class. Kung gusto nyo pa magdagdag, for example, um, ano pa ba? Um, for example, um, tuna. Ganyan. So, it's up to you guys. You can experiment. Ganun. So, one thing. Ano pa ba? So, eto, one last thing about um, is ganito. So, public class food. Um, for example, um, eto, public class hot dog extends food. Diba? And you can also do na public class chicken extends hot dog. Ganyan. So, basically, um, kung itry kayo na lang mag-try, you can also access kung alisin nyo to, al try nyo alisin to, or pwede naman hindi kasi na-override naman. Pero try nyo al alisin to, pag gumawa ka ng instance ng chicken, ng object ng chicken, pwede nyo pa rin ma-access yung um, safe food. Because basically, this means na um, public as hotdog extends food. So, yung hotdog, minana niya yung ano nang uh, inherit niya yung food then si chicken inherit niya si hot dog so parang ang ang concept lang naman dito is eto yung um, parent eto si child eto yung grandchildren or the grandchild so basically eto parang lolo niya to lola parang parang ganun so basically parang hierarchy lang hierarchy hierarchy ganun so pwede actually pwede yan it's pwede yes it's ano kung mag pwede yan gamitin So, ganun lang naman guys. Ganun lang naman. So, thank you again for watching this video tutorial. So, bago ko, bago ko makalimutan, um, you call pala this the um, parent class or the parent, ano. So, parang ganun parent. Ito yung child. Kasi nga, inheritance. The, the, the concept of inheritance. But this is the parent class. And these are your subclasses. And these are, these are your subclasses. So, for example, ganyan extends full. So, these are your sub classes and this is your parent class so ganun guys so ganun thank you for watching this video tutorial in java so in the next tutorial we'll be talking about the super keyword so uh, I'll, i'll just be talking na uh, yung dalawang just yung dalawang ways ng paggamit ng ano super keywords in concept with inheritance so ganun guys so thank you again guys for watching this video tutorial and see you in the next one and i'm out